of the contemporary understanding of Enneagram as we know it. He said that he got his information about it through uh, an angelic visitation from a spirit or divine being named Metatron, which we know is a demon. And then um, the other guy (laughs) who created the types, he said on YouTube that he uh, got his understanding or the wisdom of types through ch- through automatic writing, which is a form of channeling spirits, where a demon basically guides your hand or guides your mind to help you write down certain ideas. So when we say, oh, I'm type one, type two, type three, whatever, we're literally applying to our identity the wisdom of demons. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can tell you. Like it, She's so funny. it's literally that deep. And I, I had, yeah. Enrique Chile, yeah. Yeah. So that yeah. came from my own observations, but mostly from automatic writing. It automatic came, writing? Yeah, it came to me from automatic writing. What did? Uh, the, the specific information and it's any types. Ab- ab- about any types, which yes. I then verified through observation. I think people think, oh, it's giving me knowledge of self, but when it comes to Enneagram, we, those of us who, you know, believed in it to a certain degree, it was that it it just seemed like a, a cooler personality test. Like it gave me language, or, or so I thought. It gave me language for who I was and, and what made me tick and how to understand other people um, apart from the spirit. But <laughs> I think what I'm seeing is that if these men develop this framework from demons, then that means that we are actually choosing to understand ourselves in ways that has nothing to do with the Spirit of God. We actually believe the Enneagram more than we believe the Bible when it talks about our... Say that. Mm-hmm. That's real. Wow. So uh, Enneagrams, this, this was a big thing. I remember um, we, you know, we, we've talked about it in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we used to throw it around like, oh, I'm this, I'm this number and this yeah. number. Uh, our wives, um, Becoming Eva, they did a whole episode yeah, on it. Yeah. Um, my sister is, was always, my sister's um counselor. She's uh, educated in so many different fields. And so she was, you know, looking at Enneagrams yeah. and determining. Because she's know, right call. at the time. It, it seemed like just like a personality test. Yeah, yeah. it did. Like Myers-Briggs. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So to to find out that the people who came up with it, Admit it, like you heard them. That's why I'm, yeah. I, I left that piece in. Yeah. That this is how I got this information. Mm-hmm. I, if you don't know what automatic writing is, it's like allowing yourself to be taken over by a spirit, and you're not consciously thinking of anything, but stuff is still coming out. Yeah. That's you ba- basically allowing yourself to be, you know, possessed. possessed. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. And and the visitation from Metatron is is this uh, demon that's described, um, saying that that's where you got the information. So it's Transformers demonic. Well, they, I'm sure that's where they got Megatron from. I don't know. Yeah, I don't true. know. Maybe, but Metatron, yeah. So, the fact that they, it's not like somebody like said, you know, enneagrams are weird. No, right, it's like no, they the said yourself. it. Yeah. From the guy. So yeah. now yeah. that you know that, yeah. what do we do with this kind of what stuff? What number are you? Well, <laughs> I've always, <laughs> I've always backed away from like the whole. Um, this is my type. Like I don't claim to be a cancer anymore. You know, when I got older and I started learning about the zodiac yeah, signs, I don't yeah. claim that anymore um, because I don't want to fit into a, a bubble of all people. You know, what I mean, God made me uniquely who I am, yeah. so I'm not going to. You say, think that's what the, you you think that's what Satan's goal here was is to make people feel like a type of person instead yes. of an individual that God made. Yes. Yeah. What was the purpose? Easy, what what was the strategy to manipulate here? That. It's easy to manipulate that. I think. You, like, so we look at our scriptures, right? The Bible, we believe these were individuals who were led by the Spirit of God to write I'm scriptures, sorry. right? Yeah. Mm. So I just think the devil always tries to emulate things that God does. Yes. So I think it's, it's another attempt for the devil to try to be God, or man trying to say, okay, this is what God does. Mm. Going back to the mindset of we're gods. We can control ourselves. We can do our own thing. Let's show you that we can do the things that God did. If these mm-hmm. were spiritually inspired, we can do spiritually inspired ideas ourselves. He's always trying to copy what God does. That's what I feel. Yeah. Like. So I, I see a couple of people don't know what Enneagram is. So essentially mm-hmm. it's a number. It's like think of a circle with numbers around it. 
and the and you take this test and it, it kind of like um there's a test involved right yeah it's a test and then it kind of like picks out certain, just like a Moss Brig or any mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. What, what's your color or, or when we used to do at our old church the yeah, DC this, yeah. the disc profiles or whatever mm-hmm. it's just trying to like and now it's making me question all this stuff. yeah, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> including uh, love languages but we'll get back to um, but but um mm-hmm. not that okay so <laughs> so it's like a, think of a circle with numbers all around it and essentially based on your answers it kind of groups you into you're this kind of person this kind of person and then th- it gives you recommendations like this person does better with this person and this person does but be- yeah but i mean at the end of the day man all of this is identity yeah. if you know who you are if you know who you are in jesus i can work with you regardless of what yeah. if you whatever you know what I mean? it's all identity based yeah. stuff you yeah. know what I mean? New age identity. What is your, what is this, this number is showing me this number. I, if, if that's the case, if my number don't work with y'all, it's like, we've been but working it, together for but like. But it years. actually is true on some cases, man. You do have some dominant personalities that are really hard to work with. No, but know, I mean, like, that's just in job. general. That's just I somebody know, but, that. I know, but these tests, these tests kind of um, identify those things. No, but know? what I'm saying to you is, I, you may need somebody in your life to be like, bro. You need to. You got to talk to people right. Yeah. You're not talking to people right, regardless how dominant oh, that okay. person is. I think you know I'm mean? following you. Yeah. Are these things being used as an excuse for bad behavior? And I was. Mm. I was yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just. I'm just a dominant person. Yeah. No, you're a jerk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Stop. So that's yeah, the thing. I, so I like I've de- <laughs> I've deal with it. So I um just to let y'all know I I'm over a young uh young adults ministry. I, I teach young yeah. adults things okay. like that. So I do. I spend a lot of time with this new age thinking. So I deal with a lot of these things that we're talking yeah. about, like uh, that new age thinking. And here's the problem, right? So number one, like our faith is based on redemption and, mm. and change, right? So just fundamentally, foundationally, these are problematic because they set you in a mindset hat that this is what you are. This is who you are. When we literally come from a faith that no, God can literally transform who mm. you are. Exactly. Right. So yeah. foundationally, that's already that's, off. That's right. Good. Yeah. But number two, right, um, just uh, why are, like, just basically speaking, like, why, are, if, if we know Bible, the Bible is a, man, uh, a manual for us, right, in a sense. Yeah. Why are we looking for our, our um, how we operate and the lens that we look at each other through, yeah. mm-hmm. through anything else other than what the Word of God says, right? Mm-hmm. Once yeah. we get there, you got you to really challenge yourself and ask yeah. yourself, well, why am I going anywhere outside of the Word of God when God... He's making it clear that his word is what. So because we don't, know. because we don't read the word. There you that's, go. That's, 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 that's the, what. That's the simple that's thing of it is like once you see your identity in Christ, mm-hmm. and yeah. you're gonna learn it constantly, and learn who God is, and learn what yeah. Jesus says about yeah. you, the promises He has for you, the blessings He has for you, the, even the even under, even the curses that He yeah. that may be in the Old Testament. But once you get to know who Jesus is and what He says about you yes. in the Word. Anything that zodiac signs don't compare to it, yeah. ideograms don't compare to it. Right. None of this stuff compares to right. what he would do with a change. Right. That, but, that, but that's my question, right? Mm-hmm. So that's why I brought up the love languages. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, mm-hmm. I think a Christian wrote it. At least yes, a yes, professing yeah. Christian yeah. did. But isn't that how do you how do you know which one of these group category things are right? Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's, like it's more like a preference, though. Yeah. Yeah. But my preference. Okay. Is. But. Mm-hmm. But it is also saying you're this type of person. You're an active service person. You're mm-hmm. a. Yeah. You're you. So. We're assuming that's okay, but how do you know yeah. which one of these things that tells you who you are is well, right or not? How can you tell? It's more like a question. Yeah, it's my favorite color gray. It's my favorite color blue. But that's how you fill out the enneagram test. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm, 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 I'm saying like when you're talking about a relationship in the love language, you're asking the you're asking the simple question. You know, how do I like to feel? In included how do I like to feel appreciated I understand it's, what you're saying yeah, so I guess where did have, he get that from that, and, and I was about to say I think that's the part right like where are the people who write these things who create yeah. these tests what is their basis for these answers right right so it's like when we track that down like just like we tracked it down for the enneagrams, you realize there's a literal named demon <laughs> that gave him the answers. Yeah. I'm not so, saying, yeah, I'm not saying love language. No, is yeah, I'm know. just using yeah, it as know. example yeah. of something Christians and even non-Christians right. widely accept as this is who I am. Yeah. yeah, we're saying that's okay, but how would you know I, I, what's I think, right? And I what's think wrong? the difference between the love languages because I know, um, I know that certain love languages mm-hmm. is something, but I don't define that as who I am. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. if I like acts of service, doesn't mean that 
um, I'm a servant. I love to serve. Mm-hmm. It may just that may just be something that I like. That doesn't yeah. mean that I live there. You get what I'm saying? I'm just so, trying to figure out the game plan. Like if if <laughs> if, if if this was something that was given to him by demons, what mm-hmm. is the strategy? I think you guys laid it out pretty good. Is mm-hmm. changing your identity or locking you into an identity yeah. where yeah. God can make yeah. you whatever yeah. he wants? Because how I'm many just people, want, is is there a way to tell which one of these is Miles Briggs? Okay. Is the Can disc God profile okay? Well, I tell yeah. you what, the ones that I'm, I'm a um, recruiter, and so I took a test recently, and really it's asking like questions of morality. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like those those ethics. Yeah, if you do questions, this, well, what would yeah, you do? Yeah, yeah. Right. If you're on a job and you see somebody put Stealing. a stapler in their bag, and you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. are you going to speak up and say something about it? Are you going to yeah. tell management? So, so, but that makes sense because it's from a basis of okay, these these are things like. This is based yeah. off business. We want to know, right? know if we hire you, will you be somebody that's right. going to add to so the, the culture? But the point I'm making is it's not evil in and of itself. It's not like yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. were evil just because it was a personality test. Yeah. It's evil because the guy who wrote it said it was. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah. I think that's Indian, all you need to know. I think Enneagrams can be, um, in a sense, like what we just talked about, demonic, because I think it can compartmentalize you and also kind of push you into a cult. Yeah. A te- cult thinking, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be in my little section with my little colors and my people, and that's going to be it. But yeah. what if God is not in your section? No, what I say is like God, God is spirit, inspired people through the Holy Spirit to yeah. write. And this man coming out saying the demon inspired him to write. It's really it's, not it's, much to yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just God. There are just other people yeah. in and then, the spiritual world. And real quick, for anybody out there that's saying, well, wait, it was the angel that gave him that. No. Well, he, he, I mean, he just said, better try. No, but what I'm saying, you know, but what I'm saying in the word, it talks about that. Don't like add on. Like even yeah. if a spirit come and tell you yeah. to add on to something, don't don't participate with that. You know and, 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 mm. and just to, you know, like add one last thing, like with the foundational thing, right? When it comes to it kind of just like we've been talking about relationships and different yeah. things, I think the biggest problem we run into is there's a lot of people not spending time in scripture. Yeah. And that's the I think that's always the biggest thing is because like mm-hmm. when people are like we're talking about, you know, identifying friend zone and da, 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 like who we're going to marry or whatever. A lot of times, a lot of the questions you have is there's a it's scripture right for there. it. Yeah. And it's like I spend so much time with young people mm-hmm. doing just that where it's like, yo, hey, what is the what is. How do we approach this? Okay, well, maybe I don't know the answer, but let's open this good book that has the yeah, answer. Yeah. And boom, there we go. We know how Facts. our framework. So yeah. that's yeah, what yeah, I, I just want to make sure that we're just because this turned out to be evil, it doesn't yeah. mean that's everything. That's not everything, is. nah. You, you just gotta kinda like I just want to be more wise that yeah. this snuck past us. We yeah. need to be <laughs> yeah, wise. Because yeah. I've done a brand archetype <laughs> test for it before, like when I was building my brand and kind of rebranding. Mm-hmm. And I think those are useful because they, they use um, they use um, different artists yeah. in the industry and based on like how they brand themselves, right? Mm. And so I think stuff like that or, or even at work, like you were saying, like yeah. employing people, those make sense because they're off based off uh, experiences and, yeah. and data. It's observing yeah. how God made you right, versus exactly. telling you how God made you. Ciara brought up a good point. She said, what do you do with therapy when they're giving you advice Make outside sure of the Bible. your therapist is, is trustworthy. Yeah. Yeah. I keep saying that. Vet your yeah. therapist. Like yeah. These people have access to your innermost parts. Yeah. If if you can't trust that they're giving you godly wisdom, it's a, that's the same. Yeah. You're opening so yourself up to whatever they tell you and you're going to follow it. Yeah, it's dangerous. It's a reason. Yeah. Test, I, I think, test it. Yeah, test I think everything. when it comes to therapy, they they train themselves to look beyond just the words that are coming right. out of your mouth. And right. so I don't think that that's a sense of I don't think that I don't see that as demonic. Yeah. Or, if or if them. if you're if you trust your therapist and you know that they they understand what this is really all about, yeah, yeah then it's just godly counsel. Yeah. So to remove, switch therapists to godly counsel. Yeah. yeah. That's what you should be seeking is godly counsel. Yeah. This person is trained at a deeper level to give you godly counsel. Hopefully that's what they're giving you and not just whatever. Whatever. Yeah. You know? 